Holy smokies, it ain't no jokies. The Fed just shook the market. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. Bitcoin created a new all time high. Are we ready for that banana zone? And when will the money start flowing into altcoins? We're going to talk about all that, Shiba Inu and the rest. All I ask is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out those good, good vibes. Smishity smash that like button and let's do the Shiba Shake. <laughs> So currently Bitcoin is sitting at 76,173 after the Fed uh, came out with his decision. We saw a little bit of a sell off here. It was all, all across the market. You can see here also Shiba Inu at 1888, uh, down about 1% on the day. Uh, Shiba Inu is basically doing what the rest of the market is doing. Uh, there are some bigger big assets that are going up today where we have ethereum up five percent and soul up almost five percent so that's moving the market uh, to be about up 1.77 percent uh, but for the most part the market has been very choppy today um, especially altcoins and we'll get to that in just a second why altcoins are behaving like that but you can see it's choppy it's a little bit down a little bit up a little bit down a little bit up uh, and that's basically what's been happening over the past few hours running into the FOMC uh, meeting so what did they decide Basically, what was expected, U.S. interest rates decision uh, at 475, previously was at 5, that's a 25 basis point uh, cut. And basically what he said, or the decision, uh, soon he's going to speak. I'm doing this a little bit early. I don't feel so good today. So I, maybe this will be the last video of the day. Uh, Fed cuts interest rates by 25 BPS in second cut of 2024. Vote for 25 basis points point rate cut was unanimous so all the fed people decided on that fed says risk to goals remain roughly in balance labor market conditions have generally exceeded as eased fed removes gaining confidence on inflation moving to two percent so they remove that <laughs> i think they they are understanding that that's kind of something that shouldn't be looked at as a uh, make it or break it, right? Fed will continue to reduce its balance sheet, uh, and we expect another 25 basis point cut in December. Um, so this last one, uh, I think, is what maybe um, had the market sell off a little bit. The fact that they are continuing to reduce the balance sheet and not uh, grow it. Um, so quantitative tightening, uh, and if they would have been spending money, that would have potentially been good for the crypto market. Uh, but as they said that they will be tightening, uh, it's not the best for altcoins, not the best for Bitcoin. And that's why I think we're seeing a little bit of a pullback here, but uh, the FOMC meeting days are always, and the results are always a very tough day. Uh, you know, I, I can make the video and it's pumping and then an hour later he speaks and it dumps. Or you can see the total opposite. It dumps and then when he speaks it pumps. So it's, it's a tricky day. Um, and uh, I think after today we'll see a lot of pressure released. Um, you know, if we go and we look, Bitcoin is on the cusp of transitioning into the parabolic upside phase of the green cycle. Uh, we're almost there. Uh, you know, people have been talking about this. People have been anticipating. Uh, November is historically a very good a month. I had it uh, here. Um, come on. Uh, I'll do it like this. <laughs> Technical difficulty time. Right? And, uh, and like that. And so... Um, historically, it's been a very good month. We've had 40% months here, 50% months. Of course, there have been 30% down, but you can see on average it's 43. I'll tell you why the average is a little bit uh, uh, skewed here because of the 449 that happened in 2013. <laughs> if we look at the median, though, it's 7.89. So yes, November has been good in uh, having years, right? So 2020... 2016 uh, was okay as well. 2017 was interesting that it was uh, the year after, right? So that would be similar to 2021, which is interesting, wasn't that great uh, for Bitcoin. So interesting, uh, it which comes to tell us that it doesn't matter which month it is or what, what time frame it is. You know, we were putting a lot of emphasis on uh, 
October, right? And it was an okay month, but it wasn't as bombastic as uh, some people thought in the end. Uh, and so that's why I, I've decided to, you know, be a little bit go with the flow, you know, see what happens, see what's going on with the crypto market. And then, you know, and then we can see where we're going. You know, people are talking about uh, 100,000 in November, 100,000 by January. Uh, shway, shway. like small small let's let's break through these next uh, uh resistance levels uh because when you have something that is creating new highs uh it's always uh is a new thing so there's no really resistance levels there's no uh short walls usually so there's no levels that you were previously at uh, and when that happens psychologically the levels become the previous all-time high as a support and um the round numbers so then you could have 77,000 78,000 79,000 right uh, 80,000 or the, the the halves like 77 and a half right so, so those are like the psychological numbers where people will put their stop losses sometimes this also has to do with uh you know where we are on the indicators where we are in the stochastic full where we are on the white coughs and things like that that sometimes that affects uh where where we stop off of where the new high is um and so that's something also important uh, to take into consideration when you are looking at uh the market in the next coming uh days or weeks uh as we potentially go up and remember usually the cycle is like this right money will come in it will go into bitcoin um, and then it goes into large caps and then it goes into mid caps and then it goes to low caps and then people will cycle it back into Bitcoin and then back into fiat, right? And we've talked about this previously. There's going to be this level here is going to be a lot larger than it would have been like instead of a hat, it's going to be a sombrero, right? Because of all the money coming into the Bitcoin ETFs. The only problem is that a lot of that money that's coming in is going to stay there or cycle into stocks right um, but hopefully the regular bitcoin that is here uh, will cycle into the large caps with more capital than they would have in previous cycles um, but it doesn't mean that it will because we have seen although we saw the new all-time high back in march um, it, it kind of moved in line from a price, price stand point of view. So it's a little bit confusing. Like on the one hand, you think, oh, it's going to be a little bit different this time. But on the other hand, it, when push came to shove, it was basically in line with the, with the cycle behavior. A little bit off, but basically in line. Um, there were some, you know, asterisks here where, you know, the high came before the halving and, and that. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it kind of started the movement here and creating new highs, um, you know, right in that zone. So that... Uh, what happened in March could be looked at as the outlier and what's happening now as the regular, right? Um, so it, it will be interesting to see how all of this plays out. Of course, not financial advice and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Don't forget to smash the like button. Check out the links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.